Okay, there's only so much bagpipes I can listen to. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Five Circle stream. I uh, hope we're all well. It's a Tuesday, we're back again, and they've given us more, and I haven't updated the thingy again. Look at me go. It's all going well, and we haven't even started the stream yet. Can you hear me? I hope you can. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to hear me. <clears throat> How are we all on this wonderful Tuesday evening anyway, do let me know in the chat or I just fix the fact that it still says last week's episode on the stream. How are we all? So today we're going to be looking at the five circle route um, from Dovetail. My camera's moved. There we go. We're going to look at the five circle route by Dovetail. Uh, not by Dovetail, by uh, Rivet Games, I believe. I might have got that wrong. I think it's Rivet Games. Uh, anyway, we're going to look at that. Um, so I don't know if we're going to drive it first, or we're just going to have a look in the old training thing, uh, have a look at the unit. I've never actually tried this whole uh, training centre business, I assume it's uh, it's not going to give me... There we go. There we go, let's go and have a look at the uh, look at the unit to start off with. Let me know how the audio is, should be okay, there's no reason why it won't be. Um, I haven't changed any settings from last week, so one would assume that we're okay. Do let us know. Let's get the old swig of the drink in. Here we are at the old training center. Let everything load in. So it puts everything here. I've never, honestly, never looked at this. I just want to have a look at the unit before we go out on the route. Um, have they literally got everything sat here? I don't really, that's not really what, not what I want. Let's go and put a 170 somewhere out of the way. How are we all anyway? How is everyone on this wonderful Tuesday? Uh, I thought we might be slightly delayed starting, but we weren't. So we're all well, we're all good. All well, all good. Which are two good things. Two good things indeed. Um, I'm going to go here and have a look at the old 170, I think. I'll just remove those locos from over there, just so it's quieter. There we go. Right, let's get a 170 in then and have a look at the train that comes with this glorious, glorious route. Which we haven't looked at yet. I have not looked at I've not been home very long. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Um, if anyone has, do let me know your opinions down in the old comments section. Um, so here we are. This is the 170. This is the 170, and it looks pretty good. I mean, these used to be local to me, very local. Um, not these specific units, I'm not Scottish. Um, yes, these units used to be local to me. Um, some of them, I believe, are in the Midlands now, the ones that were local to me. Just having a look around the unit, so I'm probably looking gormously at the screen, having a look at everything. Can you press the sidey buttons? You cannot press the sidey buttons, or are there? There might not be any start, uh, sidey buttons on this. Let's go up and have a look. Just uh, do that. There we go. Have we got any sidey buttons? No. No sidey buttons. But there is no sidey buttons to press, so that's fair enough. No sidey buttons, which is a great shame. Can't press engine stop. Not good enough. There we go. Going to refund the DLC now. No engine buttons. Great shame. Um, yeah, but it's looking pretty good. Um, this is a model that you can, I believe, quite easily get wrong, much like the 37, which we won't talk about because it's not the day for the 37. But I actually think this looks pretty good. Let's have a look on board. Say, so having to do that um, in a little while. Let's have a look on here. Oh, well, I've got the sounds right. That's good. That sound 170 door sounds. Yeah, paddles, ra uh, paddles rattling all over the place. This is this is this is the stuff. This is the stuff. Um, yeah, obviously so a sound I'm very used to. Um, living in the uh, Anglia region, used to have 170s going around everywhere, specifically on the Cambridge line. So very often used to this sound at five o'clock in the morning on the old first Cambridge unit, and we used to go out every week. So yeah, I know it's. The seat maquette obviously is not something I'm used to, but I'm sure it's right. I mean, I don't think they'd put that on there for no reason, so... Um, it's good to see that God Mode actually works with this uh, route. I'm not sure if it'll work with the actual five circle mode, mind you. Um, but yeah, no, it's... Yeah. The sound set, certainly idling and from inside the train, is looking good to me. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. You can 
hopefully hear it over me talking to you constantly. But no, I think it's good. Unfortunately, the toilets don't work, which is a great shame to the world, and actually the worst part about the DLC, I feel, so far. There you go, there's the old passenger view. Ooh, um, I won't drive it here. We'll um, have another quick look outside, and then we'll go onto the route and actually load up something. No, I just want to have a look around the train first. There you go on its sunny side. Class 170. I don't know what functionality we have in the cab. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this looks like a 170. It does definitely look a 170. Unfortunately, this uh, GSMR is not as functional as they said it was going to be. I saw that on the pre-release stream, which is a great shame. Um, but there we go. Guard buzzer. I think that works, but we'll find out when we go along. It's all the isolation-y bits. There we go. Door releases. Tones. There we go. That sounds like a 170. Very much like one of our ones, actually. Yeah, that sounds like an ex Anglia one, actually. A lot. Yeah, that sounds, uh, sounds like one of ours. I'll have to dig up the video. But yeah, it definitely sounds like one of our old units. To me. Um, right, so... Let's back out and go and actually have a look at what we get with Five Circle. Um, I have watched the stream, and I don't think there's many layers. No, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, but personally, I'd like to see a bit more going on. Um, so, yeah, 164 playable services. Now, I know the 385 is on there as well. So, yeah, this is what we get. We get two different trains to drive. Uh, being the 385 and the 170. Uh, how many services? What? How many services? Is it not going to... So, according to this, we have 97 services with the Turbo Sar and 223 with the 385. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that is right, but that's what it's saying here. But, um, yeah, so that's what we get. I'm not going to drive the 305 because that's tedious and uh, involves going like five minutes down the track, I think. Oh, 19 minutes. Where do you actually drive that then? Class go to it. Well, cut over, I'll probably part of it. I, I don't know how far you actually drive that. Um, I'm sure we'll see one as AI. Uh, right, so let's go for a summer's day because we want to see the route as it is. Um, so we want a summer's day. Which way round the route do we want to go? Which can we go the other way? Or is it only one way? Uh, am I being stupid or does? I might be being stupid here. I don't. I thought you could go the whole way round. Um, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a look at that. I thought you could do the whole the whole thing around the other way. Okay, um, if anyone knows, please tell me. I've obviously uh, not quite understood that correctly. Let's do this then. We'll start at Edinburgh Waverley and go to Glen Rothis. Glen Rothis? Glen Rothis? Glen Rothis? Don't, I'm not going to butcher those pronunciations. Yes, disclaimer, I will mess up um, pronunciations of Welsh... Uh, sorry, Scottish words. Um, that is not my... Uh, that's not me offending a nation intentionally, just um, unintentionally. <laughs> anyway, how are we all? Uh, not much activity today. Glen with You know, I was joking by playing the bagpipes at the start, but you can actually hear bagpipes at Edinburgh. That's that's excellent. Right. Okay. Well, let's get it all set up then, I suppose, and see how it goes. So there go the announcements, you can hear them there. With Thornton. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. There you go, I thought I'd be quiet for that. Right. Here we go. Class 170. Next to a 385. 
that's all we get. Do we get any AI up the other end of the station? Is there any 801s? Anything around? No? No, so it's very... Oh, no, there is. There we go. So very quiet, Edinburgh Waverley. Uh, but there is an 801 here. So there we go. That is there. Well, I can't go any further than that, though. I'm not surprised looking down there. Um, anyway. <clears throat> 801 parked up here in the platform. I'm not sure if they actually use these platforms for the 801s, but there we go. Right, okay, well, get back to our 170. Uh, let's see what the sound set is like from inside. So I'll notch it up slowly um, when we leave. And I'll mute my microphone so you can hear it it's just fine. Um, here we go, then let's shut the doors. This thing. Right, here we go. I shall be quiet and allow you to hear. Well, there you go. That's what it sounds like. Um, there you go. I lost the screen there. Let's shut this so you can hear me. Uh, <laughs> right. So, first stop is Haymarket, which is where I assume the 385 goes as far as. I don't think the route extends any further than that. Um, we will find out, of course. We will find out. So, we're coming out of Edinburgh now. Let's have a look at the train from the outside. It's always interesting. Some green on the banner or off banner there we go so we're seeing the train in uh, full brightness here obviously it's one that certainly with trains in the world it's very bright when it's fully sunny uh, I tend to play with a bit more cloud but that's just me uh, each to their own so we're coming out of Edinburgh. Now we've got Haymarket as our first stop. Goes the announcement. I'm gonna... No, I thought we might be able to hear the announcement. There we go. Haymarket. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Nice, there you go. So that's the announcements. Um, next stop is Haymarket very shortly. Anyway, you haven't told me how you all are. Tell me how you are. I want to know. I want to hear. I want to hear from you all. Tell me. Um, it's been a week since we last streamed, as it always is. Uh, played the Suffragette line, or the Goblin line, as it's actually called. Um, and it's a good route. Yeah, very much am happy with that. Uh, we're going to see if this one's worth the £30, or... Excuse me, £26.99, I think it was, with the pre-order. So we will see if it's worth that. We're into Haymarket now. Oh, I've turned all the gubbins off, by the way. Uh, I have no gubbins, uh, like the stock markers anymore. I've turned all that off. Don't need that business. Here we go. Let's try and stop in the right place. I've got the mark up the top left there, so it's not exactly hard to find. So I actually haven't looked at this before. Um, occasionally, I'll have like with the. So for Jetline, I had a quick look just to make sure the um, game wasn't going to explode on the computer like it did the week before. So I just quickly ran it in the middle of a scenario just to see if the uh, if it was going to be laggy. Um, can confirm the stations are incorrect. To tell me what's what's incorrect, I'd be interested to know. So we're now at uh, Haymarket. 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 Um, there's another Turbo Star coming the other way. So I assume you can drive the 385 out to here, maybe. Um, 
Takes way more. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. They are tidy stations, aren't they? Right, we'll watch it leave here. We'll watch it leave. Give it a couple of... I know everyone likes the old horn. And you get the soft horn with this as well. I think it's a bit too soft, but there you go. That's the soft horn. Anyway, right, we'll give it notch 7 out of here, you know, give it the lot. There goes the other one. Oh, yeah, so certainly as someone who lived near 170s can confirm that is what a 170 sounds like. Um, certainly. That is, yeah, the sounds are very good. Uh, do excuse me while I bend down. I'm just going to plug my controller in and we're going to play a bit on controller. If I can see what I'm doing, that is, anyway. Where's my torch? Uh, obviously pre prepared, as always. <laughs> can you do a babbling delight? I, I imagine that would go down a treat. I bet that would go down a treat. Um, do a dish it sounds like a dishwasher that I just did. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, nearly missed that. That was that was almost almost great start. <laughs> there we go, controller plugged in. So we're now playing on controller. Um that's what they sound like. Yeah, dishwasher is indeed what a turbo star sounds like. Um very, very vivid memory well not vivid, I suppose very clear memories in my head of five o'clock in the morning bashes out to go wherever and fought things and you know, on board that classic sound. In fact, should we turn off the DSD? I'm playing on controller now, it's going to be a bit more difficult. Uh, I'll use the mouse to do that. That was the DRA, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was DSD. Right, let's use the DSD, turn that off. Oh, there's no room, room, room. There sort of is actually. We'll let them off. That that was quite close. That's quite close to what it sounds like on board a 170. Very much get the sound of the engine. I, uh, as I say, when we were in, um, when we were at Edinburgh, there the sound of the rattle on board is pretty much spot on. They are worse up the Highland Main Line when they're overheating at five mile an hour. Uh, I haven't witnessed that. I'm uh, very much not in uh, the Highland territory, but I, I can quite imagine that can quite imagine that indeed. Anyway, we are going along. I don't know if this side's supposed to be electrified. If it is, that's uh, rather missing, but we'll go with the fact that it shouldn't be. I don't actually know. Uh, I, so I think we're turning off here now, so one would assume this is the end of the electrification. Yeah. So, the next station is South Guile. South Guile. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to go around the other way, but there's no services that do, so I don't know if that's just track. Or whether you can actually go round that way, but I saw no services that indicated you went that way. So uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, DSD back on. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Um, there we go. DSD is back on. That'll give me something to miss. All right, South Guard 0.7 miles. I don't know what the brakes are like on this yet, so I suppose we're about to find out. Shutting up for the announcement so you can hear that. We'll soon arrive at South Gyle. Might have buggered up the braking here. Oh no, we're fine. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I think. I hope. <laughs> yeah, we'll be alright. So that's about the limit of braking on the old 170 there. <laughs> I wouldn't want to brake much later than that. There we go. Everyone over the yellow line. Deary dear, not very good, is it? Should have them over there. Should have them behind the yellow line, really. But there we go. Let's bring the train to an old stop. South Guile. Have I pronounced that correctly, do you reckon? Very neutral. Go outside and have a look. There we go. Uh, I have to say, already the sounds on this are very impressive. And uh, visually it looks pretty good as well, certainly on this livery. Uh, I'd be interested to see any repaints that people have already done. I see a couple on a Facebook post earlier. Another unit coming in. It's a very busy route. There we go. He's going straight through. Watch him go. There we go. 
straight through. Don't overshoot the lot, I know. Oh, for, oh, I'm fairly well there, look. There we go, that's, that's alright. There we go. Right, shut this door. Shut that door, shut that door. Right, back in the chair. Lock the doors. Get her in forward. Get ready to get the right way. I think we get a guard's buzzer in here. Yeah. There we go, and off we go. Notch six, and we'll uh, notch it up after that. Right. So, 1430 seconds. The next stop is Edinburgh Gateway. Edinburgh Gateway. So, we'll see how we get on with that. <laughs> see if we manage to stop for that. So, I don't know much about the geography of this line. Uh, so, I will call out some of the gradients just because that's quite interesting. It's interesting to know. Uh, I will be doing a, a chart around here, even though there is no scenario. So, we might have a go at that later, or I'll do that next time, or on Trades in World or something. Anyway, next week, the stream is still an open option. There is no plan. Oh, we're getting more announcements. Is that the next stop? Is Edinburgh Gateway? We'll yes, it is. Out. Yes. Anyway, next week is an open option. It is no decision made. So I will be putting out a poll to see what you want me to play. Uh, that will go out hopefully after the stream tonight, if I remember. If not, it will be tomorrow. Excuse me. Yeah. So next stop, Edinburgh Gateway. Hopefully, I won't overshoot. <laughs> but yeah, we had a we had a howler of a stream the other week. I managed to uh, overrun the station. The computer exploded twice. Uh, the stream stopped itself. Um, so we're going to hope that doesn't happen today. I've taken action for that to not happen. I'll just keep the FPS up on the right for a little while, so you can have a look at that. He says as it starts to lag. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to try and show off how well it's running, but we'll see how that goes. There's nothing in the sky for it to render at the minute either. I've turned it on just a summer day, so let's hope we manage to stop here. Got the working PIS screen. I think they're called pa yeah, they are pa passenger information screens. Um, oh, I've gone past the marker. Oh well, that's because I was chatting. Uh, <laughs> managed to do that. There we go. We're oh well, well. Thirteen yards past the marker. Oh, DV. Is it DVD in this? Because I thought if you lifted the... Oh, I haven't heard the DSD go off yet, that's all. I guess we'll find out. Let's run over the old line here. It's Edinburgh Gateway. I think there's going to be an airport here. I might be wrong. Is there an airport around here somewhere? I might be wrong. Uh, I've played this route in Train Sim Classic. So, I should really know. What train are we driving? The GSMR should tell us, shouldn't it? Oh, it hasn't actually set it up. There we go. Signal 998, yeah, that's right. So is it going to just not show the head code? Interesting. No, I don't wish to deregister. I just want to see what signal, which train I am. Let's close the doors. Shut those doors. Buzz, buzz. I don't know what that is on controller, so I have to do that on keyboard. There we go. Let's get going. Next stop is Dalmeny. Dalmeny. Dal. D Dalmeny. Dal. Dalmeny. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> there you go. Let's watch the train leave. There we go, there we go. So, onwards to down many. Bit of a bit of a longer um, longer gap in stations now. So, um, obviously, as you're close closer to Edinburgh, you're going to have more. It's like in any city, really, apart from Norwich. <laughs> apart from Norwich, um, but yeah, yeah. You, certainly in a summer suburb, you get more you get more stations going on. I reckon, as you, oh, there is DSD, there's your answer to the question. Um, yeah, so I mean, outside it's fairly bare now. We're sort of getting away from the from the city environment. There's just a car park chilling out over there. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. 
I, I think I might have been right with the airport thing, but there just appears to be a big car park in a field um, over here. Uh, is that right? I don't know. Do tell me if anyone knows the area. Is that is there just a car park in a field after Edinburgh Parkway? I wouldn't know. Let's have a look at the train. So yeah, I think that sounds not too bad for 170. There is a weird droning sound. I don't know if that's coming from the unit or something around me, though. So, no, it's something around me, I think. Let me fly ahead again. No, there is a weird sound that's emanating from the train there. I don't know if you can all hear that, but... Yeah, weird sound emanating from the train. That's really a bit off-putting. That is very... Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> they can... Uh, not sure if that's supposed to do that. Uh, hello, Jamie from Trains and World. This is all a bit official. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, I've just found an issue with your 170. Um, I don't think it's supposed to do this, is it? But, um, there we go. Some feedback there for you. Pretty sure that would be the airport. Okay, that's uh, there. We go. Anyway, anyway, next stop is Dalmeny. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Am I pronouncing that correctly? I wish to know. I do wish to know. Right, so we're going along. Uh, I'm getting about 35 FPS, and I'm streaming, so that's fine. I've got the stream tab open on my computer as well, so there's a bit going on on the computer. Um, car park is correct. Good. That's good stuff then. Uh, also, the speed has gone up to 100 now. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, we've gone up from, I think it was 75 to 100. Um, interesting. I'll test that droning sound again in a second. I'm going massively speeding again. Um, running late now as well. That's all good. Let me just see if that's... doing that all the time. It is. Uh, I might be mistaken, but I think that's the sound of the cooling fan on the Turbo Star. And yet, unless that's just me, can you all hear that? Yeah, definitely the sound of the cooling fan, uh, which you can hear constantly. There we go. All good to find these things, though. You know, you'd never... You can't have everything perfect to start with. It's all... But, yeah, it certainly would... Uh, making note of that. Good. Good to hear. And, uh, you know, good to see you taking that on board, guys. So, yeah. No, all good stuff. Um, enjoying the route so far. Uh, so now we're coming to Down Many. I'm really not uh, at all... Um, familiar with this area of the world. So this is all... It's all new to me, not having a look around. Um, I think this is one end of the fourth bridge. So that's that I do know. Uh, I probably know incorrectly now. Um, yes, this is on PC, Jamie. Though I'm using an Xbox controller at the minute uh, to play it. Uh, what's like that in TS Classic version as well? Oh, right, okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I've only ever used the Armstrong Powerhouse um, 170. Does it do this? Yeah, so even when we're on idle, we've got the sound of the cooling fan. Um, yeah, about to get the best part of the route. So we're about to go over that, yes. Uh, as you say. I was right then. I got that bit correct. Um, so yeah, here we go. Dalmeny. 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 Something many. <laughs> um, I would say tell me how to pronounce it, but you can't really type how to pronounce something. Uh, Alright, let's lock the doors. I am running a bit late now. You have to excuse that. Uh, watch it leave here and we'll have a look over the, go over the fourth bridge as well um, apparently it's called the fourth bridge and it's red or something yeah you know that one that one um, <laughs> not very famous at all I know uh, here we go there we go so we're going again excellent stuff so as I say, being local to 170, uh, you know, I used to be local to 170s, saw one this afternoon as well on the EMR, 
Um, the sounds on this are very good. Uh, absolutely no denying that and no taking that away from whoever recorded slash uh, mixed them for the game. They really are sounding good. Um, there you go. Anyway, we're now on the big red bridge. Um, <laughs> yes, the yeah. pronunciations of yes, it gets even worse. If it ever goes to Wales in this game, I've got no chance. Uh, but anyway, yes, here we go over the fourth bridge. Very good. Having I've been over here once in my life. I um, did a trip to Ed to Inverness on the well. I went on the sleeper, came back on the chieftain. Uh, I consciously remember going over on the um, chieftain. I don't know if the um, sleeper goes this way. Uh, Jamie, while you're in the chat, if you're still there, can you go both way rounds? Because I was looking at the services in timetable mode, and I only saw the um, map point in the direction of the Scottish East Coast. Uh, I might have just misunderstood what comes with the route. I'm just curious to know, because um, I genuinely don't know. Um, I just thought I I had thought it came with both ways round. I might be wrong though. Uh, here we go, just coming across the fourth bridge. Over we go, over we go. Excellent stuff. It really does show how just colossal this structure is when you come down here and see these tiny little things that you stand next to. It's like, whoa. Service both sides. Okay, uh, I might be wrong. Just, um, when I was scrolling through the services, I'm going to overshoot here if I'm not careful. When I was scrolling through the services, I just saw the map said it only went around one way. So, uh, it'd be interesting to see which way we're going around. I don't actually know. That might just be a thing with that. Um, I, we went on a day where the chieftain was diverted, I believe, uh, due to some sort of reasoning. I'm not sure what it was, but we went via the fourth bridge. Uh, certainly not something I'd forget. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, def it's diverted for some reason. Um, free Roman scenario planner can make it go around the circle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so does some services sort of go one way type thing and some go the other, or is it just um, just services via the Scottish East Coast that come in timetable mode? Just curious to know. Yeah, the Chieftain does normally go via... Um, Falkirk, I think it was diverted for engineering works, like you say. Uh, it was sometime in 2019 I did that. So, see, also, like I say, the only time I've been over the Force Bridge, uh, knowingly, anyway. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, I've forgotten the name of this place now. Uh, something quite ferry, isn't it? Um, <laughs> look at me, professional. North Queen's Ferry, that's the one. Um, right, we need to get a stick on now. We're running a little bit late. Yeah, sound on the EMU, uh, DMU, sorry. Uh, minus the, obviously, the uh, small issue I've uncovered. It's good. Really, really good. Um, on a 1 in 70 downhill now. Um, so, just getting a bit of a run up coming out of this station almost. Next stop is Inverkeithing in uh, 1.5 miles, mile and a half. Let's go through the tunnel. Should we get a bit of 170 thrash through the tunnel? go as the sound of the one sorry my apologies I've just deafened you all there oh interesting LED cab lights interesting I'd, I wouldn't know if that's correct I assume it is I, um, most things are LED these days turn that off again uh, yeah service going around oh excellent okay okay uh, yeah I think when I was scrolling through the services the map was sort of staying with the first one I'd put on so that's interesting to know okay I wonder which way we'll be going then uh, let's have a look at the let's have a look uh, Ross Ith Dunfermline. Uh, I think that's the top, isn't it? The top way round. Could be wrong. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> I could be wrong. I, I, we will find out when we get there. But I think that's round the top way then. Uh, I'm going by the station name. So we've got a 40 mile an hour restriction now, which I'm going to be massively speeding in, in the true professionalism that is always on this stream. <laughs> uh, and I assume we'll be back up to 50 again. Yep, back up to 50. Unless it goes down to 35, which it hasn't. So uh, that would indicate we're going back up to 50. Let's uh, open the throttle a bit. 
a bit. He says, well, chucking it into notch seven. I didn't actually mean to do that. I just used the mouse and it was a bit sensitive. <laughs> yeah, apply a little bit of power, puts it straight into notch seven with no thinking. Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? Well done. Well done, me. Well done. Uh, anyway, well, wh whichever way around this goes, we will come back the other way. Um, whether we use a 170 or we put something else into to the timetable just to have a little play around. Uh, we will see. We will see. Um, no, let's try and not overshoot. I have a habit of just talking and not managing to stop. Uh, <laughs> a, bit of a, a bit of a haze there. Interesting. Um, so 600 yards. Let's put some brake in. We're on a 1 in 70 downhill, so let's put a bit more brake in. There we go. Uh, at the tunnel. If you watch the train arrive, let's do that. Let's do that. Here we go. So we're coming into Inverkeithing or uh, uh, here we go, Edinburgh Airport Buslink. There we go. Speed and power. Yeah, speed and power. Oh bloody hell, brakes as well. Come on, brakes. I got a bit uh, distracted by the old uh, sign there. Well, uh, well, but whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. Well, we still managed to stop, even if it was a slightly more aggressive brake application. Yes, we're turning left. There we go. We are going round that way, the southeast way. Uh, oh, that's the bottom. Is that the bottom? Then I don't know. Is that the bottom? Uh, no, we're pointing that way. Cool. Okay, so we'll be going round that way. Um, look, I'll, I'll, we, when we get to Glenrothes, I think that's how it's pronounced, Glenrothes. When we get there, we will um, bring a service back the other way, just so we can see the entire route. Um, what sort of service that will be, I don't know. Um, there we go. I shall stand outside and shush. And uh, you can watch a departure from here. There we go. We'll get a little departure going. Let's close those doors. And I shall shut up for you. There we go. There we go, and onwards we go, onwards we go. Um, sorry about the game popping in and out there. Anyway, um, next stop is Ro <laughs> Rossyth, I want to say, and I'm massively speeding again. Well done, well done me. It's that Notch 7 departure that did it there. Uh, Rossyth, 1.2 miles to go. So, there we go. Um, two Golf 7.3, we are, I was going to say, what are we? Um... Is the GSMR supposed to show which head code we are? That's my question. I think most conventional GSMR does. But I might have pressed something. So I don't know. No, I don't want to deregister it anyway. Yeah, we'll leave that. I'll stop playing with things I'm not sure about. <laughs> um, so yeah, 30 miles an hour around here. Lots of point work going on. And I think we're about to increase the speed. I believe we are. No, okay. We'll... Uh I'm losing speed, then we're going to put a bit of power in. What are we about to go up to? Ah, well, the speed changed. Did I miss a speed board? Or did, am I, am I, did I miss something? Did I miss something? No, I didn't miss something. Oh, speed just changes. Okay, speed just changes. I missed something. I, did, I thought I'd missed something then. I did look away briefly, just reading the comments. Um, but no, I didn't miss anything there, so there's no speed board present there. Anyway, Ross Scythe, 0 0.6 miles. Hopefully I've made some time up now looking at that. We might have made our time back, because I did slip behind a little bit. There you go, coming through a sort of little suburban area here, maybe. I don't know. I'm not very, again, I'm not, I'm not local. I'm not local, so if you are local, please do tell me and tell me what... Um, What's right? What isn't right? What's slightly right? What's slightly wrong? You know, it's always good to, always good to give the feedback to the people that make it. And I believe uh, one of them's here. So, <laughs> um, yeah, certainly if you've got any questions, you know, drop them there. Uh, anyway, Ross Scythe, I'm 
approaching far too quickly because I'm rambling again. But I think we have made our time back, so that's all good. Probably because I went speeding through that 30 limit back there a second ago. Um, but here we go. Yeah, um, game is running well. I've got most things on Ultra, and we're 35 FPS with half the bloody computer open in the background uh, in order to stream, so we seem to be doing okay. Um, I don't know how the Goblin line would fare with that. I did edit a few settings for that stream. Um, here we go. Let's try and stop in the right place. Excellent. There we go. Can we play with the destination-y thing? I have no idea how one does play with the destination -y thing. Um, if anyone does 170s and knows about them, do tell me how you play with the destination -y thing. I, is it this? Oh, there you go, you got the announcements going off again. I haven't heard an announcement for a little while. Is that just maybe that's just uh <laughs> There's that distinct rattle of panels in the one seventy, which is excellent. That is, as I say, very much correct. Very much correct. That's uh <laughs> Yeah, excellent. There's not a one seventy if there's not a panel falling off somewhere or rattling horrendously, so yeah, excellent that is. Very good. Let's go out the door. Oh, train. Looks really nice in the sunlight. There you go. You get in the, let's go in photo mode and take a screenshot with our station. There we go. Excellent. So we've got a couple of minutes to wait now. To hang around. Have a look at other things. No lifts in this one, I suppose. I don't know. I, I, I didn't watch the pre-release stream fully. I had a quick glance at that. I suppose we can walk around this way. Yeah, all good. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got the time too. We may as well. Looking good. Looking good. So, yes, which station is this again? I've forgotten. Rosyth. There we go. Or, uh... Um... Uh... <laughs> no, I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to try that. I might offend someone. Uh, <laughs> may well offend a... Someone or a whole nation. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, back in the chair. We'll uh, try and depart a bit more normally with the power this time, as opposed to straight notch 7 um, action. We'll <laughs> try and not do that. Oh, dear. All right, we'll, if we start locking the doors now, we'll go through the full procedure. There we go. There we go. Start notching it up. Rolling backwards. Rolling backwards. Rolling backwards. There we go. <laughs> not sure how that happened. There we go. It never breaks off before any power came on there. I'm not sure what I could have done about that. Um, there we go. Pulling away. One in 99 gradient. One in 96 now. So it's quite a steep hill. So it'll be interesting to bring... Um, other locomotives around here and see where we uh, fare. Let's have a look at the poll. How are we doing? How is people? So we've got uh, one person has five circle and uh, six don't. So there we go. So uh, whether I'm convincing you or not convincing you or not really changing your opinion, I'll be interested to know. But yeah, we've uh, got six, uh, six people who haven't got it. and Oh no, we've just got another vote. We've got uh, seven people that haven't got it, eight uh, one that has one that has kind of messing my words up tonight it's going well it's going well anyway Dunfermline next station next station stop Dunfermline city sorry um yeah a lot of the names of these places I recognize certainly recognize them all but I'm not uh, a massively familiar person to the area so it's not a lot I can comment on as to being realistic really the scenery to me is looking good uh certainly the the close up scenery um I haven't really looked in the distance. Obviously, I had a look at Edinburgh Parkway, but... Yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't know the area, but, you know, you've got the rolling hills, which is normally what you have near a railway. You've got that. This looks really cool. It's a cool little asset. And the shadows work, so there's always that. Uh, use hill start button. Red sign the PCB if it's... In... Okay, I'll have a look at that in a second. There we go. And DSD going. There we go. Uh, is that 
what's left of the PBC, is it that one? What have I missed? Oh, it's sort of on the side of the power brake control. Oh, whoops. Um, I'll have a look at the next station, see if I can actually click it or not. I uh, don't think I can. Not looking like I can, no. Um, I don't know. I will have a look when we get to the next stop. Done further then. We shall have a look. Have a look. I'm going to be massively speeding around this bend. Well then. There we go. There's some braking. <laughs> Probably would have started breaking for Dunfermline in a second anyway. So we're doing 48. There we go. It's a bit better. Bit better indeed. I'm going to crack open my second drink. It is not uh, apple juice or anything like that. It is normal. Uh, just a Fanta for tonight. That's the choice of beverage. I don't know. What are we all consuming while watching? Anyone consuming anything? Oh, I've got my uh, Fanta twist going on. Oh, that's the wrong side there. I've got my Fanta twist going on. Uh, not sponsored by Fanta, it's a great shame, but there we go. There we go, there's a road there, looking a bit quiet. Uh, Dunfermline City, here we are. See if I can stop in the right place this time. Not bar not counting on that happening. Where's the stop marker? It's right at the end. No, I don't want to stop right at the end, I want to stop here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be hanging off. I'll be hanging off the back like an idiot now. I know we're right. There we go. Look. Yeah, this road looked a bit quiet. I uh, don't know about you guys. With our cooling fan going crazy there, uh, uh, this looks a bit quiet. <laughs> this whole place looks a bit quiet. Um, not a lot going on here. There we go. There we go. Very off-putting, that uh, that cooling fan, I have to say. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. It's impressively loud over the stream. It's quite loud through my headset, but I've got the game slightly quieter than me, so unfortunately for you. <laughs> there we go. So we are at um, Dunfermline. Is that how you pronounce it? Dunfermline? Dunfermline? There's a little subway going on here. That's interesting. And stuck behind someone. Oh, DSD. There we go. Oh, I've popped back up. <laughs> that's interesting. A little un underpass. I'm sure that's as it is, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Let's get the train going again. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't look, did I? Oh, shush. Um, should there be a button on the side? Did you say? red button on the side, yeah there is no red button on the side of the PVC um, so no, I guess that's not featured which means I'm going to just sort of have to I'm going to roll again yeah you sort of end up rolling backwards from half of these stations which is uh, which is not ideal, I don't know if there's a way you can sort of counteract that or not um, Dunfermline and Cream Margaret Street is the next stop. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way you can sort of change that from happening, but uh, yeah, that's 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 interesting. You can't pull away without it rolling. Um, we will see if I can find a way to do that or not. There goes another 170. Off that goes. There we go. Right, so we're currently in a 50 limit. Looks like that's going up to 65. 65. So. Let's uh, onwards to Dunfermline, Queen Margaret. Not sure uh, much about that place. Never heard of it. Um, I assume it's part of Dunfermline. That wouldn't be a unfair assumption to make. Another road. There we go. It's an interesting little road going on here. Very steep. Um, right, back in the cab. I'm going to try and uh, not let that um, cooling fan interrupt me too much, but um, fortunately it is quite loud. Um, <laughs> see, I can't see any red button. I don't think there is actually a red button here. I don't think there is one present. Uh, I see that's on. Is this functional? That might be how you change the old destination screen. No. Um, driver. What's that? Wiper. There we go. Um, so yeah, the uh, soft horn is available. You just have to click to the right or left of the actual horn. Uh, 
there you go so that is available it does work I don't think it'll work on controller to be honest um, no Ooh. yeah so you just get the soft the the normal one on the controller um, which I am still driving on I'm gonna go back to I will go back to keyboard and mouse after this station just so uh, getting a bit of both so 710 yards, not very far from Dunfermline and Cream Margaret. Hopefully I'm not going to go flying through here. That wouldn't be exactly good, would it? Let's not do that. Um, yeah, so roads are empty. I don't know if that's a just a PC thing or a me thing. Maybe it's a me thing. Uh, but roads are looking empty. That's another no on the poll. Oh uh, yeah, roads are looking empty. I, maybe that's just a... Oh, that one's got that one's got traffic on it. Some of the roads are empty, some of them are not. Uh, very noticeable, the one at Dunfermline um, City or whatever it was called. Um, that was very noticeable because obviously you're coming into a city and there was no traffic there. Someone's beyond the uh, yellow line there. That's what I'd do as a driver anyway. I don't know about anyone else. Anyway, it's time to stop at the four car stops. That is where we shall stop. Excellent. There we go. What have we got next? So we've got a couple more stations to go. 20 minutes of travelling. So Glen Glenrothes, Glenrothes, Glenrothes. Please tell me how to pronounce that so I stop embarrassing myself. I think it's Glenrothes. Um, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, right, so we're going to go back to keyboard and mouse now. we we'll put the controller down. There we go. We'll drop the controller as well. That up before that goes horribly wrong. Oh. Ah. My right, hill starts on the left trigger. Where is the hill start? Ah, it's on there. Okay, there's the hill start. But I can't click it. Um. There's a key bind for it. I don't know what that key bind is. It's left stick on the controller. So there is a hill start option. I don't know what it is on the... Ah, right. Hill start is on the brake. Right. Okay, well there you go. Hill start is on the brake. Uh, the brake the brake keybind on the keyboard. So hill start on and off. There we go. So there we go. We now know uh, there is a hill start function on this unit, which is good because there are some big old hills to start on. Sort of keys in my name there, Kato. Well done. Anyway, code. <laughs> code. Code and beef is the next station stop. Uh, I'm. I assume that's how that's pronounced. I'm quite happy to be told I'm wrong because I probably am. <laughs> So yeah, there is, um, I feel, a slight lack of traffic, but I might be wrong. I don't know the route, it's just very quiet. Um, obviously there's no freight layers on this, which is a bit surprising, but I suppose not much freight really runs here. Um, there's also no rail tour, which is a shame, but that's fine. Um, we understand that. Uh, I can't say I know of any rail tours that regularly run up this way, that's fine. I want to watch the train come past. I'm going to. Oh. We've lost the fan. Interesting. There we go. We've lost the fan. That's a bit strange. So the fan has just stopped doing its thing now. Um, that's a bit odd. Not going to complain, but that's a bit odd. So there we go. An interesting little pool over there. What's this? A puddle on a hill sort of thing going on. DST. That's a bit strange. I think it's Cow Den Beef. There we go. Cow Den Beef is the next station stop then. Have we still got that weird droning from the thing? I'm just going to fly ahead again. No. We have now lost that, which is good. I'm glad. It only so that's interesting. It lasted as far as Dunfermline. Be interested to know if it actually does that again. Um, 
Let's watch the unit come past. There we go. So yeah, the um, stations are varied. It's not like a consistent like half a mile. It's not a consistent amount at all, which is good because that really sort of gives you a chance to get the unit going and things like that. Um, hopefully, there'll be an EMR reskin come out for these, and you can sort of drive it between Grantham and Peterborough on the east coast. Or if you paint it into whole trains, you can pretend it's a long while ago. Not that you'd have any 91s to run next to it, but you could have a HST reskin. Um, to run alongside. So, 1.6, 1.5 miles to go to Cow Den Beef. I've uh, been reliably informed that's how you say it. Or unreliably, depending on if that's correct or not. Um, yeah, it's to be seen. I'm now speeding. Let's stop that from happening. There we go. So we're now descending 1, 220. Fairly, uh, fairly steady grade. It looks like it's about to go massively uphill. Yep, one in eighty-eight. There we go. Sorry, an awful wind today. Apologies for that. Leveling off again. Oh, it's not back. Looks like I'm about to descend. Right, so Cowden Beath is coming up. Looks like I can see it up there. So yeah, God Mod does not work on this route yet, uh, not surprising. I'll try and uninstall it and install it later, but I don't think it will work yet, unless they've made it do that. Let's part, put a break in and I'll let's go look on the map. So we're getting round, we are getting round, and we shall come back the other way. Uh, I'm not actually sure where Glenroth this is, I assume it's near this big old yard, but I could be wrong. I don't know what that big old yard is either. Do anyone know in the chat what the big yard is there? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Some of the cameras. Okay, let's get back to the drive position. I don't want to mess this up. Um, stopping here. I didn't hear an announcement for this station again. It's just sort of a bit inconsistent, that is. Um, I didn't hear an announcement. I might have been outside, so... Maybe it just didn't trigger. There we go, let's have a look at this. I've uh, slightly overshot the marker, I think, haven't I? Oh, well, it's not too bad. We were close, look. We weren't miles and miles and miles away. There you go. Are we going to need the hill start here? I didn't see what sort of gradient we stopped on. We are going to need the hill start here. Excellent. We'll give that a good testing. Though we are a minute early, so um, not just yet, but we will give that a good testing. Best believe. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, so far in perfectly enjoyable route, perfectly acceptable route, looking pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, distance either in a couple of places, a bit here nor there, but it's you know it's it's fine. It's perfectly okay to me I might be wrong and I'm sure other people have their opinion um, be interesting to know if this layers onto anything else the 117 I don't know if it runs between uh, on like the Cathcart or anything but I'm sure 170 is going to Glasgow right so let's try this then you can't actually click that which is a bit strange right well I'm pressing it and we didn't roll back there we go so it just slightly holds the brake on um, when it's coming off so that's alright that's cool that does work I don't think you can't click it though so you have to use the key bind which on controller is a uh, left trigger and on the keyboard is the brake apply button yeah not brake release brake apply um, so that's how you do that I couldn't work that out to start with um, oh I can oh there you go you can play with the things and one would assume that'll uh, mess around with the 
uh, announcements. There was... I can't find Glen Rothers now. There it is. There we go. Back to Glen Rothers. Yeah, so... Um, you can play with the um, thing on the front. Lock Gelly is the next station. Lock Gelly. Lock Gelly. Lock Gelly. Lock Gelly. Um, again, apologies for the pronunciation or pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation of that. Um, probably have offended someone by that one. Oh, 35 limit. Excellent. Doing 50. There we go. Let's slow down a bit. Quite a tight bend this is actually. I can sort of see why that's uh, a slow limit. There you go, put another notch of brake. Um, so yes, it's all looking alright, I think. Have we got our noise back? No, we haven't. Good, excellent. Let's go down here. Be a boat. Oh, under the sunk boat there. <laughs> and a couple of horns for you there. I know you all like that sort of thing. <laughs> there we go, excellent. So there's just quite a slow speed limit around here. Towards Lock Gelly. Lock Gelly. Lock Gelly. We'll go with that. Yeah, some quite seriously tight bends here as well. Excellent to see. I'm sure it is like that. Obviously it's uh, based on the real thing. But no, um Yeah, good to add some variation to the speed limit as well, not just a hundred or 80 or 75, so that's good. Gives you something to slow down for. Anyway, back up to 60 now. So let's uh, notch it up a little bit. He says he's done it again. Well done, me. Straight into full power. Uh, of it, speed and power, as uh, Jamie correctly said earlier. Excelente, excelente. So yes, the plan is to bring another unit back the other way. That is the plan. Uh, round the other way. Um, back along the coast um, or we might put something else like a HST representing a diverted chieftain or something like that that could be fun um, maybe we'll drive that from Glenrothes round that way that could be interesting I think I've got an LNER reskin on here so we can always work with that I'm going to massively overshoot this station I imagine we have no dump the brake but it's not going to do a lot well done! There we go, we have Nebworth. So in the true Matt Peddleston fashion, we have Nebworth. Uh, how much have we Nebworth? Go on, I want to. Come on, give me a coach, give me a coach, give me a coach. Yeah, we're in, look. Rear, rear coach is in. We'll, we'll gloss over that one. Yeah, you can board the train. We're fine. Sort of. That is not a very well sighted signal, is it? Blimey. Yeah, you wouldn't uh, I think you, you have Tom Reed would have a fit, wouldn't you, mate? <laughs> yeah, it really is not a very well uh, sightable signal. Let's close these bloody doors. Got all these ones open, do we? STO is something I'd like to see in the game, you know. Um, having all the doors open isn't great, um, especially as when you're at a station like this where you've overshot like an idiot or where the train is too long for the platform um, there you go is the sign that is, a, that is what these signs look like that is what these signs look like so <laughs> yes says Tom yeah yeah it's not uh, very good sighting is it so what have we got coming up we've got car car den den and then Glen Rothes <laughs> Cardenden. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm not sure that's how you're going to pronounce that. Is it Cardenden, I suppose? Um, WSP. Excellent. Apply sand in traction. Excellent. Uh, what works then? What buttons have we got? Train stop override. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed that, should I? You muppet. Um, all right. What does that do then? I don't know. Anyone know what that does? I'm just looking through all the buttons now. Just head button my mic as well. Um, right, stop looking at buttons. Stop looking at these. Tones from the cars out there. Right, are the brakes going to come off? No, the doors are open. Well done, Kato. It's half expecting all the doors to come back open there, to be honest. Uh. Oh, we have another vote for yes. Who else has five circle? Um, 
let's get going. Um, here we go. Let's go watch it leave from outside, shall we? I think that soft horn is a little bit quiet, I'm going to be honest. Well, there's another issue with your um, sounds. The horn module is in the middle of the coach, not at the front where you can see them. That's uh, interesting, bearing in mind you can actually see the... Uh, the horns at the front. They've uh, put the horn muzzle in the middle of it. There you go. There we go. So, Cardenden. Cardenden. Next station stop. Cardenden. We'll stay inside this time and see if we can hear an announcement. But I haven't heard one for quite a while now. Um, so, we will see. There yeah, we will see. Clear that. So we're in a 60 limit now. Old 60 limit. So yeah, we'll, we'll take an L and the R H S T around the other way um, as the next run and the second run of the stream. Uh, that is all we will have time for tonight. Uh, but I will give you a little synopsis of what I think of it at the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, we only have time to go around the other way. We've had a good look at the 170 coming this way. Uh, we'll then do a fast run round the back, as it were, uh, which will be good. I think I've got the NER reskin. That will be uh, credits to whoever made it. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but credits to them. So yes, Carnard and two mile. Uh, sorry, zero point eight miles. Platform two. I was looking at the platform two bit. That's why I said two miles. Well then. <laughs> well done, me. Uh, again, I haven't seen much AI. Um, I suppose that's fine. Um, again, I'm sure that is real. I don't know. I'll pull up RTT in a minute. We'll have a look. Um, we will have a look. I'm stuck outside the boundary here. Whoops, a daisy. It's coming nice and slow for an arrival. There we go. I've seen a button. Can I press it? Oh, it's not a button. It's a fuel cap. Can I open the fuel? No. Oh, okay then. I've massively slowed down early for this one. Watch it come in. There we go. So I've massively slowed down early. It was still on, um, still early. So. JCL, I live in Fife. Oh, excellent. Um, I assume Fife is the other way around the circle. I haven't passed Fife Station, so we'll see that when we go around the other way in the HST after this. Um, there we go. Let's stop here. Excellent. Excellent. So the stations, I think, look good. I don't know the area, uh, but I certainly think they look well detailed. You've got everything going on. The bridges look nice. I like a bridge. I do like a bridge. Let's go up on the bridge. I'm a bit too high for the bridge. There we go. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Um, <laughs> no. The people are going through them, which is excellent. Uh, and then floating after. But yeah, we've got the bins. Got all you have on a station. You've got the flower pots going on as well. Little details. So trains seem to be hourly. Um, which is probably why I haven't seen many. Um, which adds up. Which is fine. If that's what the services are, that's what you get. Um, so, there you go. Let's lock the doors to our final stop, which is Glenrothes with Thornton, I believe. Q. Well done. And beep, 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 beep. There we go. Four miles to go. 4.8 to be precise. Next stop, Glen Rothis with Thornton. Uh, so I will like go slow to all the stations around the other way, just so you can have a look. I don't think there is actually many, though. Uh, yeah, we'll take a HST round that way, so you can uh, have a look at something a bit different. Back in the old day, much re much replicating the service that I um, rode on, uh, the diverted chieftain. So yes, that'll be good. Take a swig of the Fanta. Keep me going. 
Yes, so it won't be a long stream tonight. Uh, we'll be going around the other way in the HST after this. Um, maybe something short in the 170 afterwards, or maybe take the 385 for a quick run. Um, but that'll be it for today. Um, got commitments tomorrow, driving choo-choo trains. So. Um, <laughs> it's driving choo-choos. So, there we go. Playing choo-choo trains um, on the loco, so... Here we go. We have lost the drone. That is completely gone now, so... There we go. Excellent. So, yeah, 60 miles an hour now. Uh, I presume that's all the way to Glen Rothis. We, we will see. We will see. It's just me that thinks that AWS, AWS pitch is really high. That's probably just me being a massive musical nerd there, but it sounds to me like it's sort of like pitched up. Driving over the speed limit. I'm doing one mile an hour over the speed limit. Come on, game. Give me some slack. Should we, should we slow down? There we go. Put some brake in just for you, game. And it still didn't, didn't slow me down enough, did it? There we go. That'll put me down at 59, won't it? That'll be my luck. Nope. There we go. It stayed. Excelente. Excelente. So, there we go. Lots of uh, different tree models, which is good. I always notice that building routes myself in Train Some Classic, you sort of use a million of the same tree and then realise it doesn't look great afterwards. So it's like, yeah, but there's certainly lots of different trees going on. Sort of like little things, but you notice it. Um, 2.9 to go. Is that little canal going on? A little invisible wall in my way. There we go. Excellent, that looks really good. Lovely stuff. I think this is that branch, isn't it? Well, no, it's the... I'm interested to know what actually that is. We'll have a look when we get around there. It looks like some sort of... I don't even know. Do we know what this is? I have no idea. Is it a depot? Is it a depot? It's an empty one, if it is. This is a bit weird. Sort of a, uh, a disused yard. Some sort of trees going on. Got ya. So it's a disused yard. I don't know where. This is a disused yard, obviously. All the tracks in. And play with the points as well. Huh. Well, there we go. I don't know where that is. Um, geographically, obviously, quite near Glen Rothis, but what it is, I don't know. That'll be a map search afterwards when I'm curious. <laughs> Leave a train come through. There you go. So if anyone knows what that is, um, do tell me. Yes, in trade some classic, you can also press E and um, numpad enter for the DSD instead of Q, but... Uh, obviously not inherited through trains in world because E is get up, yes, as I've just um, shown you. Uh, demonstrated, that's the word I was looking for. Well done, brain. Demonstrated is the word. That was weak. Yeah, certainly the thing I've had to get used to again the most is in these streams is talking. Um, <laughs> it really is like you know talking a lot. <laughs> But no, it's good. It's good to be back. Really good to be back. And consistently back as well. We're sort of week four and we're not showing any signs of slacking. But yes, it'd be good to see what you guys want to see me play next week in the game. Or which game you want me to play, sorry. Here we go. Glen Rothis with Thornton. Um, I'm trying to work out where I realistically start with the HST. We will just go from here and go around the other way. I think that's probably the the way to go. AWS. I assume we've got a... I think that's the first cautionary aspect we've had the whole way. How big of a station is this then? Not very... Do the trains reverse here? Then I don't... Again, I don't know. Do, or do they just keep going? Because obviously this is service end. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know if they turn back. There's no start signal. 
Hmm. Wouldn't know then. No idea. That's interesting. So there's a two hour gap in services starting here. That's quite a long gap. Former Rothis Colliery is very near to the, uh, that yard, so something to do with that, I imagine. Ah, okay, there you go. We now know, because I wouldn't have known. Right, so we have managed to get here, and we only overshot one station, which, uh, for a first time, <laughs> isn't awful, I suppose. It's not awful, is it? Not awful. I think that was about an hour scenario. I don't know what time did we start. See, that was, a, that was an hour and three minute run. Interesting. So yeah, we're going to go back the other way. I'm going to snooze, sorry about that. Um, oh no, we're good, we're good. We've survived, I haven't sneezed. Excellent. Right, let's lock the doors then, do what it tells me to do. There we go. Scenario's end. What have I done then? Did I get a gold? I've got a platinum. Is that a platinum or a silver? Uh, I don't know. I honestly you have no idea. Anyway, that's what I've got. So... Let's go to the menu. Uh, I'm going to start it from um, Glen Rothes, though I don't think it's perfectly uh, realistic. We will go from there round the other way. Um, for the uh, HST we're going to drive. So... Um, there we go. Not go there. Great losses. There we go. Right, so we'll go um just cloudy. <laughs> cloudy in May. Cloudy May. That's sort of England for you, isn't it? Right, we'll go midday, cloudy May. There we go. Midday, cloudy May. Excellent. Um, excuse me. There you go, it's a bit easier. Oh, people. Hello. <laughs> oh, people on the track. Is that unit just left, is it? We've just missed the train. Oh no, we've missed the train. When's the next one? Uh, two hours time. <laughs> Blimey. So there's one, it seems to be that there's one two hour gap and then one one hour gap, looking at that. Uh, now, now what you'll find is I won't be able to spawn the HST, no, in my luck. Uh, not that it's going to fit here anyway. Right. Um, scroll down and find it. Uh, yeah, full set. There we go. What's that? Oh, it's just a, another reskin. Right, hopefully this works. Excellent, here we go. Um, I'm not sure how realistic this is. I don't know if the chief comes this way uh, or not. Right, so we're going to go around this way. Um, what's up here then? Nothing. Well, there is a station there. Uh, one would assume it would come from that way. I'm just starting it here because I can't. Uh, <laughs> Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Um, we want to go about there, don't we? Next, the IEP. Just hope it sends me around the right way. No, it's going to send me out that way, isn't it? How does it go via? Hmm. Interesting. Can we not? Right, let's try this differently. We'll set a path there where we will magically find a red signal. Hopefully. Ah! Ah! I found the problem with my my ultimate plan. I'm on the wrong side. Um, really, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I can't go that way. Uh, that might be my issue. 
Let's, let's try this again. There we go. There we go, let's try this. Let's see if it'll let us go that way now. Is it going to send us the right way? It is! There we go. If I did it to Edinburgh now, would it give us the right way? So I'm really faffing here now. Um, Oh good. We're going the right way now. Cool. Right, then let's get going. Um set up the little power cars. Or power car. Daylights, that's what we want. Excellent. Are we ready then? Here we go. Pulling away on a one in 149 downhill, so should have the train start to push us hopefully. It's gonna move, come on move. There we go. Right, away we go. Now on the flat. Up to 20 miles an hour initially. How much power car have we got on the rear? Oh, 299 as well. Oh, well, we'll look at all that. It looks good enough. And the hard immediate stops to call the in for Keithing and Haymarket. Right, well, I've got no idea where any of these places are, so um, this could be interesting. I, I'm not sure which ones are which. Should I get the route map up? Is that is that a good idea? Is that what I need to do? Should I get a route map up? Um, right, so the first one... Um, the last one. First one, last one, and the last station. Cool. That's all I can remember that. Um, how far is that? Push. How far is that? Right, after that big bend. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Don't let me forget. Actually, I'll tell you what. There we go. No, that's... Uh, yeah, that was right, Eric Cicaldi. Excellent! Right, we will stop there then. And then it will be Inverkeithing and Haymarket. So, on the way. It's fairly slow around this bend. Thank you for telling me that time I'd have had no clue. So... Up to speed, let's get going! Excellent stuff. Nice to have something else to run this on. I mean, if you did the IET at 20 miles an hour, you would be able to do the um, Chieftain as a modern day thing. Um, uh, but the uh, 801 only goes to 20 miles an hour in diesel mode for some reason. Um, I assume just to get itself out of the way. Um, so, that wouldn't, I assume, is why it's not. Um, included because you there's nothing else to do it with so there we go and off we are going like an old bridge there, very low one. Um, yeah. 
Well, you can tell this is an old model nowadays. Um, very much dated now. This is the original GWR HST. Which came with um, Great Western Express. So, onwards we go. Kukuldi, two miles away. In Bekeithing and Haymarket also. Excelente, excelente. Take a swig of the old Fanta again. I have got another drink available, just in case we get that far. It's a bit of a more high speed run this time, not obviously high, high speed, it's quite low speed limits on this route. Up to about 80, and then we'll probably start having a break for Kakuldi. So we're going around the other way now, so all new stuff I haven't seen. I bet this will be a nice low speed limit. Yep, oh no, 80, we're a HST, that's fine. Good. Started breaking for something that wasn't for me there. <laughs> uh, I believe the 170s um, are um, down as HST according to the speed board as well. Whether that's realistic, I don't know, but I was watching the video by the British Ace earlier and that appeared to... Um, indicate that the speed <coughs> excuse me of uh, the 170s was like the HST as well so there we go yeah, up to, uh, 80 miles an hour now so it will shut off well going downhill one in a hundred let's watch the train come past this is a nice little sort of through a cuttingy bit uh, let's have to slow down now let's put some brake in Oh yes, it's quite a sharp bend actually. Here we go. Uh, so one would assume the chieftain normally goes this way. I might be wrong. Uh, and I'm happy to be told I'm wrong, um, but I think that's the way it would normally go. Let's uh, back off and uh, start slowing down for Kakuldi! Kakuldi! I don't know where I'll be able to stop at Kakuldi. Um, whether I'll be able to get the whole train in or not, well, we will find out. AWS, so we're going to get it. Yes, we are. Yellow signal. See if we can get this right. Nice, gentle approach. I think you have to overrun this station. I think I've seen a video from here before. Ease it in. These are the only two views you get in the HST. There we go. Oh no, it might fit. No, it's not going to fit, is it? Oh, well, we'll stop right up at the end and see where that is. As you can see, we'll be departing here up to a 75 limit. We've arrived. Excellent. So, next stop is Inverkeithing, which I'll set up now. There we go. Oh, that's not, that's the wrong one. Why can't I not set a path? Why? Uh, hang on. <laughs> does that sometimes I think that's how I've had that happen before yes um, be interesting I'm sure you can take the flying Scotsman around um, this route but it wouldn't be too far off realistic so oh, I tell you what it's because I was standing up that would be why it wouldn't let me set a path 
Oh, being a bit of a silly boy there, silly goose. Uh, which one is in the key thing then? Is it this one? Nope. Where is it? What have I done wrong? I was looking at a, a route map a second ago. Ah, it's after they rejoin. May apologies, it's that one, isn't it? Yes. Remember now? Excellent. Ten miles to go to Inverkeithing. Let's uh, watch the train leave here. Here we go. There we go, we have departed um, Kakoldi on our way to Inverkeithing. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Now I believe this way goes down along the coast. Um, from memory, this is the way we came. Uh, I believe it um, goes down by the coast. So, we shall see. Uh, do the Aberdeen services come this way as well then? Am I being thick or do they come this way as well? Be interested to know. I see you've put the intermediate stops for L and the R and Kakuldi and Vakithik and Haymarket, so I assume that they come this way. Could be wrong. HST 75, that's what you want to see. Yes, yeah, so I assume the Aberdeen to King's Cross service comes this way. Um, hence the stops there. Because the key, the chieftain doesn't normally come this way. I remember us being diverted for X, Y, Z reasons. So I would presume it's the Aberdeen that normally comes this way. Yes, yeah, Aberdeen this way. Yeah, that makes sense then. There we go. See, obviously, you um, be able to model a timetable set in about 2018 here. Uh, I think with realistic 170, I assume they had 170s in here then. Uh, in fact, I know they did. I remember passing a few and seeing a few in Inverness when I was there. So you could write a timetable which has uh, LNR HSTs and um, 170s for five circle. You could well do that if you uh, know how. There we go. We're on the coast. Excellent. This is looking good. Uh, and that is correct, you can see the land over there, so... Oh, slowing down. Well, I was slightly over brake there. Oh, slowing down to 20, over 30. So, uh, we shall put the brake in for 30. Not sure what this is for. We will find out. There's a station. Not our station, but there is a station. That's a 45, but not a 30. Should we go to 30 around here? Well, I'll keep going 30 anyway. Dramatic effect and all that. So I just thought I saw a passenger over the edge there. That's on the horn. There we go. <laughs>
There we go. Round we go. Start, you know. Thought it would be. Tunnel. That's loud. Apologies for that, that was very, very loud. Uh, anyway, back up to 65. Not sure why it's so slow through that tunnel there, but... There we go. Looks an interesting little sort of caravan thing. Oh, yes. Nice. There we go. There we go. Round the coast. Also, we've still got the first Great Western stickers in here. We'll ignore those. It's a LNER train deep down. We know it's an LNER train, don't we? About eight miles to go to the key thing. Then we're straight to Haymarket and then straight to Edinburgh. Not that it's a great distance from Haymarket to Edinburgh. So there's a bit of inconsistency about which roads have cars on, which is a bit of a weird one. Um, but, yeah, in inconsistency about that, which is a bit strange, uh, if you ask me. But uh, It's quite nice driving this HST along here, though. This is something um, different. And it's nice to drive a HST at a sort of slower speed. Um, if you take one on the East Coast, it's 125. Great Western Main lines 125, so it's nice to sort of take one a more haste, uh, sort of gingerly pace. This is a nice, nice bit of scenery here. Got the David Deck chair and beach towels. I bet that would still be there in the winter. Oh, that's a nice view. So I'm speeding again now. I'm sightseeing. Forty now. Look, I'm glad I'm still braking. Where are we then? Where are we? This is a cool little station, isn't it? Looks like quite a major one, but it's, uh, obviously not. Where are we? We are at Burn Burn Burntis Island. Burn Burn Island. Burntis. <laughs> Burn Island, I assume that is. I assume that's Burn Island, not Burt is land. Hold up, brain. Burt is island. Deary, deary, dear. And we're up to 65. Up to 65. We're up to 65. Oh, like these little uh, houses up there, all the same grey ones. I'm sure that is realistic, I'm sure it will be, but very grey. What's the speed limit here? 75, excellent. Well, we'll leave it in notch 5 then. Lovely job there. Look at that, perfect. Very steep roads around here, by me. I think my little Kia would have uh, died on that. <laughs> Certainly lots of twisty and turny and nice views around this sort of... Uh, is it, it's not the sea, is it? I don't know. River? Very wide river. Sort of spans that gap. There's the route, by the way. That's the size of it. That's what you get. Five miles uh, in the key thing. Start backing off a little bit. I've backed off too much on a 1 in 100. Excuse me. But yes. So this is the way the Aberdeen trains go. So you could, in theory, do what I'm doing. And just add into a timetable a little run. Calling it um, 
the stations we've been, there's no more per board for that, so I had no idea that was coming. Brakes are very slow to release on the HST, there's something to remember for anyone who ever. Uh, Firth of Fourth. Um, I assume that's what the rivery thing is called, the Firth of Fourth. Interesting, didn't know that. Another station, 50, going up to 50 limit. Where are we? Abador. Okay, we'll keep some power down because we're climbing one in a hundred. Or well, notch three or four should do the job. 3.6 miles to Inverkeithing. Lovely javelin. Along we go. Let's have a look at these rocks. A little bit low detailed, aren't they? Well, they do the job, but they're a little bit... Um, yeah. They look good from a distance, but you sort of get close and you're like... Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Can't be picky, though, can we? Can't be picky. Can't be picky. So, um, there we go. Nice little scene down there. This car has ro uh, this this car has roads on it. Is what I was about to say there. Uh, this road has cars on it. It's an interesting place for street lamps, though. Couldn't see the train there. I thought, oh, there we go. Look. Lovely. An interesting place for street lamps back there, bearing in mind there was no houses around, that was an, uh, an interesting one. Um, maybe it is real, I don't know. The Scottish thing, I don't know. Uh, but we barely get street lights that work around here, so... Maybe we'll move to Scotland, it'll be a bit brighter. <laughs> oh, we're getting yellow signal now. Very quick on the AWS there. We've got a yellow signal. Indicating the next one's going to be red. Don't know how far the next one is, um, but obviously, yellow signal means red for the next one. So we're going to take it easy. So don't go flying through a red. Put some braking. Continue about this speed just to be safe. There's this. There are not very many trains around here, or this is just a not very well used station. Dalgetty Bay. Oh dear. So we've got a red. Why have we got a red? Are we waiting for a passenger train? Can't see a train. So we're going to be sat here for quite a while, though, it looks at things. We'll get up to a signal. I'm going to take this opportunity to have a quick uh, personal needs break, as it were, um, before we get running again. I'll just bring the train to a stop at the signal, and we'll go and have a quick PNB before we continue to Inverkeithing and uh, ultimately Haymarket. Does mean we're going to be following a stopper service to Edinburgh now. Beep. 
but all drivers wish they could press number nine and go outside and have a look what they're being held for. <laughs> There we go. Right, so I'm just going to be sitting here for a moment. I've just unlocked the doors. What an idiot. Uh, anyway, we should be just here for a moment um, for PMB while I go and uh, wait for this train. Uh, so we should be back in just a tick. And back we are. We shouldn't be here for too much longer. Um, just waiting at this signal. So we'll, we'll look out at our train, shall we? So be careful where I jump down here. I don't want to fall in a river. Uh, there we go. Yes, so we will be following a stop of service to Edinburgh now. So uh, lots of cautionary signals and things like that. Can you put all oh, you can? There you go, look, you can fuel up that HST. That's the BIS. Obviously, uh, clickable, but that is the BIS. Just checking we haven't got the road yet. The bits and bobs on the HST. There we go. No sign of a road. Let's uh, go back in the cab. Luke. Well, the train we are waiting for is now arriving at Gl Invergeething, not Glenrothes. Invergeething. That to me looks yellow. I don't know about you, but that looks yellow. 
Obviously, this is the yellow aspect, so it's not. But that looks really quite yellow. Further back you go, red, obviously. But the closer you are, that looks yellow. Yeah, that looks yellow. Uh, I don't think that's just me. That definitely looks yellow. We'll see when they change. We'll see. Probably miss it change now, you know. When he starts moving, we should get the road. Oh, no, is it another sink there? Hmm. Well, we'll see. If we get the road, we get the road. If we don't, we don't. Um, 12 votes now. So, that would mean three of you have got five circle. And uh, nine of you haven't. Which is fair enough. It'd be a shame if we just got rid of it, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, give us a three clear run. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the more challenging option of following a stopper. So. The old... Uh, Feathers going on there. You can see inside, look. Not sure that's quite what it looks like inside a signal, though. <laughs> you going, yeah. Go! Move! Grr. Sure, that's what most drivers are like when they're stuck behind something. Get out of my way! <laughs> yes, we will be ending tonight when we get back to Edinburgh. Um, this is just a first look. Uh, in the future, may have a go with the 385, take that for a spin, all that wonderful jazz. But for tonight, we will be ending on return to Edinburgh. If this unit ever leaves, in the key thing, that is. Um, I assume you can't do the interior on this, but I'm going to go and have a look as we're waiting. See what the interior is like on the Mark Threes. That looks fairly great western. And you can't play with the oh, you can't play with the things. Yeah, that looks pretty great western. Just thought I'd have a look. Have we got the road yet? No. Oh, it's moving! Hey! Right, let's get back in the cab. Right, let's watch this signal, because that still f looks fairly yellow to me. Oh, I think that looks yellow. The, uh, there we, okay, now that's, that's more yellow. That's a bit more yellow. Let's go! Excellent. Excellente. So, uh, watch the train accelerate away from somewhere. Two sets of power lines, interesting. So yeah, that, that's quite a nice view. The scenery is pretty good on this route. It's got to be said, hasn't it? That's pretty good. Round we go. Sort of a drone view, this. Oh, 900 yards. To in the key thing. Slow it down. Obviously, bearing in mind we will have a red on the end of the platform. Um, according to the yellow signal we passed a minute ago, anyway. It's interesting how that took the glare off of the um, cab window as we went through the bridge there. That's quite cool. AWS. So 
So the right side banner is off, which presumably is for wrong road. Obviously our banner is on with this red signal here. May have stopped slightly too soon here. Oh, we've done it now. There we go. Right, so remove that path. Set the next one to Haymarket. Not Edinburgh. Haymarket. There we go. To which we want to be in this platform here. There we go. Oh, we're ready then. Was I actually in? No. That doesn't look like it would have fit if I had gone right up to the signal though, to be fair, so... I will let myself off for that one. Start taking the brakes off. Put it to power notch one. Stop it rolling away. Let's go! Oh, that banner should have applied to me, oh right, so I would have gone flying through that signal then. Of course, yeah, it's attached to the same post, same signals now, that's interesting. Why is there two? Oh, good lord, that's a racket. Uh, not not exactly miles from the fourth bridge now so I believe that's uh, there I think that's where it is a big long straight sort of indicate it <laughs> here we go oh yeah next station stop is Haymarket nine miles to go Graveyard there. It's a bit grim, isn't it? Where's the church? No church. Interesting. Just a graveyard. Fair enough. Fair enough. Evening ladies, evening Charlie, evening Loco Lover Charlie. Your name's not Charlie Richards on YouTube, it's Loco Lover Charlie. Ah, uh, welcome to the stream. What's a splitting banner? So lower banner denotes the diverging route, higher to the main. Oh right, so that banner was wrong then, is what we're saying. Sorry, it's going to get loud. I am so sorry for that racket, uh, but we are now coming through here. Oh, we've got a yellow now. So here we go over the uh, over the tenth bridge. Yeah. Um, it's something I remember doing, very much so remember doing. There we go, look, we're going to take a screenshot of this, I think. Oh, I've missed it now. What an idiot. Let's see if we can find a bit that looks good. Probably when we come off of the fourth bridge, we'll look uh, for the best. But yes, this is looking pretty good. Uh, where's that red signal? Oh, it's yellow now, that's good. <laughs> Looking pretty good, guys. Over the fourth bridge we go. Oh, we've got a green. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, let's see if we can get a picture between the bits here. Now we'll, we'll do it at the end. I thought that was green. I'm sure I saw a green signal. 
But maybe I was wrong. That's red down the end there. Sort of how signals work, that isn't it? Apparently so. <laughs> Apparently that's how signals work. My hair's a mess again. Oh, we have now passed the yellow. Or now passing the yellow. We are following that stopping unit though, so. Alright, oh, remember to keep the brakes on. Let's see if we can get a screenshot of the end here. It's got a famous picture of me somewhere uh, coming over the fourth bridge on this very train. There we go, look. This does look good. There's no zero denying that this does look the part um, for a game. It's really, uh, it's looking it. Let's use the old photo mode to really, you know, really capture it. There we go. It's like a big old drone, isn't it? <laughs> Focal point. There we go. That's uh, that's looking the part, if you ask me. Uh, let's sort of knock that down a bit. Get the old colory up. Going full photography mode now. That's a bit too much saturation. A little bit less. Oh, look at that. That's that's uh, that's the old Forest Bridge massive. There we go. Anyway, so we're now edging up to this red signal. Presumably, the train is still in um, North Queen's Ferry. I want to say this end of the bridge. I might be horribly wrong again. Uh, we are following this stopper all the way to um, Edinburgh now, so all fun. All fun. We'll edge up. The old sounds of the Mark 3s there. Can you see the train from down here? Bus! Um, you can. Look at that. Look. I need to concentrate. Where's the red? Change. I'm stuck outside the bleeding wall now. Look. The one thing with uh, down many, I was wrong. Um, the one problem with invisible walls, if you get the wrong side, then you're uh, pretty damn stuck. Ah, there we go, we're, we're really yellow. Uh, I don't know where the next signal is though, so I'm not going to go crazy. Um, <laughs> we'll notch it up a little bit. Actually, no, but we'll, we'll, we'll open it up. But there we go. <laughs> we'll open her up. We're on to drink three now, also not sponsored by Dr. Pepper. If we can make that happen, though, I'd be much appreciated. Um. <laughs> there we go. Right, so where's this red signal going to be? We have a 65 limit for HSTs now. Where's this signal? I'm sort of scared to be around this corner. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. There we go. We have a red. Story of this journey, I think, now. Unfortunately, that seems to be the case. Where's the unit, then? Well, he's passed the next signal, but my signal's still red. So. There we go. There we go. We should obey the signals. Yes, yeah, so I feel like this might be a bit of a stop and start journey down into Edinburgh now. So. There we go. Such is life. Come on. Back when we used to have signal boxes, that would have made a difference. <laughs> Not anymore. You're all waiting for me to spad here, aren't you? You evil lot. 
Why are you red? Trying to throw me wrong road. There we go. That'll be why. Is it trying to do that all the way? No, just there. That looks like an Edinburgh tram. Yeah, it is. Right, anyway, we're, we're underway again now. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's trying to throw me over onto the wrong road. I don't really know why. Um, another branch going off there. Not sure which branch this is. Do tell me if you know. get back up to the speed and probably catch up with the next train again which will no doubt stop everywhere and hold us up DSD <laughs> and 90 or 100 I think I saw there, excellent got a good work over the HST now I believe that said 100, yes it did lovely jubbly, let's get up to speed Right, so 14 votes now, um, meaning that uh, 10 of you don't, no, 11 of you don't have it, 3 do, so that's interesting. Good to see you all voting on the poll though, that's what, that's what it's there for, use it, absolutely. Still running against greens, excellent, excellent, we'll have a bit of green signal. He says, as the next one's yellow. Another turbo star there. Is it a double yellow or a single yellow? It's a double yellow. We'll notch off. If that one's a single yellow, we're about to get in some serious trouble. No, it's double yellow. Alright, we'll stay at this speed then until it goes wrong. Stay about 77. We'll notch on. Hello, Cuckoo Transport Videos. Welcome back to the stream. We are currently taking the HST into Edinburgh. Uh, and we're behind a stopping passenger, so it's all, all a bit interesting at the minute. Trying to keep it at a speed that uh, keeps us behind it at a distance, but that's a single yellow, excellent. Get some braking, get some braking. We'll cruise up to the magnet at 30, should be able to see the signal at the magnet. believe we're near Edinburgh Parkway so um, likelihood is that the train is stopped there currently. Is this Edinburgh Parkway? Oh, I made an idiot of myself. That signal's yellow. Let's open it up. Uh, Edinburgh Gateway. Oh, there we go. Only a single yellow at the minute. Stay at 
still only a single yellow, so we'll keep it 45. Keep it at 45, don't want to go flying past the red. We did overshoot one station today, but that's all we've done so far, so we'll keep it at that, he says, flying towards the red. I don't think I'll get very far without having to slam some brakes on and keep uh, keep the speed down. It's always good when you can see the next train in front of you, isn't it? That's always good. I imagine we'll be stopping here then. Stopping at this signal. Just because I can see that next train. We'll, uh, we'll ease up to it at this speed, but we can't always win one. Here we go, coming up to this signal. Yeah, I have to say, this really did look excellent going across the fourth bridge there. Um, really, really did look excellent. Well, this station will get some Notch 5 action when I uh, get the chance to pull away again. Excellent! Yellow signal. Not very. Let's open it up through here. Where are we? Where is it? Any station signs? We are at South Guile. Here we go. Let's give them a show. Yeah, there we go. Bit of thrash there. We're on a double yellow. Excelente. But we get to some speed then. Let's get that back on. 2.8 yards to go to Haymarket. I think that's the first station out of Haymarket. So we'll be back up to some speed, hopefully. Unless this speed board here says otherwise. 75. Excellent. Another turbo star. There we go. Bit of AI going on now. Which is good. What we would like to see. Half of one in 66 there. Right, so we are really getting close. We are joining back up to the uh, main line to. Where does that go? Glasgow? I want to say Glasgow? Might be wrong. I think it's Glasgow. Uh, south of Edinburgh was Newcastle, which is this way in the direction of travel, so I think that way is Glasgow. Anyway, 1.8 miles to go to Haymarket. So our second to final stop. Got a double yellow coming up, so uh, observe the train coming past at a decent speed for the last time. Knocks and breaking. I have a feeling we'll get stuck outside. There goes a tram. 
Uh, I have a feeling we'll get stuck outside Haymarket. Oh yeah. Excellent brakes on the uh, HSTs, I uh, hope. Uh, no, but <laughs> yeah, they, they are good. I believe you can run them back to back at 125 miles an hour, so that's how strong the brakes are. They do take a while to come off, but they are very strong when they are applied. So this is um, Haymarket Depot. Yeah, over there. Just waiting for a path into Haymarket behind that unit. And then we shall uh, head into Edinburgh, where we shall uh, call it a night. On what I believe to be an excellent stream. I think it's gone fairly well today. Only one slight overshoot. Excellent, there we go, that didn't have to stop. In day market we go. Watch us come into Haymarket. I think they're limited to 60 back to back, possibly 75. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. I think I thought they could do 125 because of the brake strength. Could be wrong. break can we do it can we do it oh yeah there you go look at that keep it initial There's a pair of IETs in the station at uh, Edinburgh now we will go here just a moment There we go, departure from uh, Haymarket. Ah, why is that so loud? Good lord. No idea why that's so loud. It's not behind some invisible underground wall here. Another red. Going well. <laughs> the 
believe we'll be following a 380 into uh, Edinburgh. We shall wait here and find out. That's normally the direction the uh, 380s come from, the Glasgow uh, direction. Glasgow. I have uh, recently picked up that route um, in order to have the AI in this as well. Um, so we may do a little run on that at some point down the line. We shall see. We shall see. Let's wait to see what unit appears through the tunnel there. Shouldn't be too far. Here it comes now. What have we got? Here's a 385. Take us for it in shot. There we go. Can't get it in the right place. Excellent. There we go. We're back in the cab now. That's what we want to be. Just wait for our signal to come off, hopefully. And then we will hopefully go. Interesting to see they're in pairs in this. I think in the um, Scottish Express, whatever it's called, is um, they're only running in four car formations. So there we go. Let's get that round to our sort of driving position. No one's head moves that slow, does it? We're like, oh, very smoothly. <laughs> Make sure nothing else is getting the road, and we'll uh, we'll get going. I think we've just missed an IET. That's just gone very, very slowly. I'm seeing that's going, but yes. Hopefully, we'll get the road. Hopefully. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And we can go. Bit notch three, get the train rolling. And we uh, gently roll down into Edinburgh, our final stop. Into jolly, jolly Edinburgh. We have to see the sort of uh, under the big end of the station at the south end. go through the old tunnels and in we go I think that's all red there isn't it now I believe what's happened here is called typical um, that 385 has gone where I asked to go, uh, so we'll have a different platform. We'll go in there. Really don't know what's going on with them echo effects, that's really really loud.
there we go into Edinburgh we come right round the back someone else saying they've got five circle in the pole excellent excellent I hope you're enjoying it as much as me um, And in we come. Well, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, all of that wonderful stuff. It's been a pleasure to have you all here. I've opened the doors the wrong side. Haven't I? There we go. Pleasure to have you all here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, yes. So, is this route is this route worth your money? Um, Twenty nine ninety nine, no. Um, not twenty nine ninety nine. My opinion, uh, and I'm bad at it. No, it's not. It is a good route. Uh, twenty five pound would have been perfect. Twenty five, but um, twenty nine ninety nine is a bit steep. Uh, I bought it at discount for the uh, pre order, so I'm happy. But um, I suggest you wait for a sale, or if you really want it, pick it up. It's, it's got its good bits. The, to the DMU that comes with the one seventy, excellent. Uh, the route looks fairly good too. Let's just turn that off so you can hear me. Um, the route does look good. Um, but for what you get, uh, timetable wise, scenario wise, I personally believe 30, uh, 25 pounds is a bit more realistic. But um, there we go. So, thank you all for tuning in. Pleasure as always. Uh, don't forget to vote in the poll when that goes up about next week's stream. But for me, 32A. Thank you for coming out. I'll just catch you next time.